Liverpool is a city that has so much to offer its residents and tourists. An abundance of museums and galleries for the culture seeker. And of course, a scintillating nightlife for everyone. The glamorous VIP bars of the Albert Dock. The tourist hotspot of Concert Square. Seal Street for the more alternative crowd. Surely there can't be more, can there? By being in the heart of a city that's buzzing with culture and history, it's hard not to get nostalgic and romanticize about long gone but not forgotten eras. A popular age will always be the Roaring Twenties, a defining period in history with pioneering social and political change, transforming an average night out into the exciting adventure that those people knew it to be. These bars have been hidden around here for a while. You just have to know where to look. By doing a simple Google search, you can find articles listing the names of these places and hints at how to get in. The first I'm going to try is the most recent bar called X Directory. All I know from local word of mouth is that you need to find a specific red telephone box in the city center. It can't be that hard to find, can it? Well, it seems like the first hurdle is finding the right number, and there's only one way to do that, so... Okay, so uh, I've just rang about 20 of these numbers. Maybe it's time to go out and ask around. Um, the concept came about um, from, I mean, purely from the owners. Uh, they, they had a restaurant in Manchester, uh, in Charlton. Um, they obviously went to a lot of other bars um, all over the country and all over the world, in fact. Um, and this, this is, comes from a lot of bars from New York and stuff like that. That's where the concept comes from. Um, they have a sim very similar bar in Manchester as well. Um, I mean, obviously, you'll know yourselves from looking at the website. The phone number is not obvious. The address isn't advertised anywhere, we try to make it not. Um, I think it's the, the kind of intrigue of just telling people that they can't come in, that they want to come in. Um, obviously the cocktails are really, really different um, and all the photos on, on social media and, and such um, kind of drives people to want to come in, definitely. I reckon about 95% of the drinks that go out are, are cocktails. Um, they're all quite a lot different than what most bars do. Um, we've got some strange things. Drinks with cheese in, drinks with duck in, um, which you won't see anywhere else. Um, so yeah, it, but there's also kind of ones that are more suited to yeah, kind of every, everyday cocktail drinkers. So it's quite a big mix uh, of kind of drinks for kind of cocktail fanatics as well as ones for people that don't know what they want. On a, on a Saturday, you're looking about, uh, it's like a four week waiting list to get this one, like the table at the time that you want. Um, so like with big parties and stuff, it's, it's crazy busy. You've got two, two DJs in, so it's quite mixed kind of music, so it's a bit more chilled in the day. We open at 12, um, so it's kind of, it slowly picks up. The atmosphere kind of starts to get built around about four o'clock. Then we've got a kind of more uh, upbeat, vibrant sort of DJ who's in, in, the, in the afternoon, uh, in the evening, sorry. Um, and that's like, that's kind of the main thing. Everyone's, people are dancing about everywhere and yeah, having a great time. <laughs> So there you have it, that's how you find the secret bar in Liverpool. That's one down, who knows how many more to go. The number you have dialed has been changed.